Between the device is very powerful, um, leveraging the uh, power of the atom processor, we can do new things such as um, dictating emails by voice or doing an open voice uh, search, web search by voice. So what I will do right now is demonstrate these two applications. The first one is how to speak an email using your own voice onto this MID. And the second application is how to search the web by voice by saying anything you want to look for music, uh, restaurants, uh, food, or anything you want. Uh, speech has been the holy grail for a long time, right? Speech has been the holy grail for a long time, but it works really well now. Um, it's now working very well on desktop PCs, and now we're bringing it to these MIDs to show the same Please, features of which now. take it away. So the first application I will show is application. Send email to Peter Mahoney. Dragon naturally can demonstration. Go to body field. Via Peter, comma, this is a hands-free demonstration of Dragon naturally speaking 10 at the Intel Developer Forum, full stop. Best regards, comma, Eric. Send. Okay, so here was an example, a perfect example of how we can dictate on these MIDs a full email by voice. That was fantastic. You didn't slow down, no, you were just talking no, and normal no, speak. I'm not even a Native American speaker, so it just works for me. It would work for most people who have real English accents. You can directly dictate emails onto these portable devices. By using a simple Bluetooth headphone, um, if the device was in my pocket, I could do it directly without even looking at the screen and by dictating directly the email to the device. Okay, what else? Microphone off. So the second demonstration is a very similar concept, except that this time what we want to do is search the web. Um, so the power of these devices is the internet connectivity. You can very easily access the internet. Um, and so sometimes what you want to do is also hands-free, search for information for restaurant, music, whatever you want. So we have a second demonstration here. So we'll start here. And it will, for example, Search for some food in Taipei. Swedish meatballs in Taipei. <laughs> Not exactly what I'm looking for. Taipei. And here we are. We have a couple of links, and I will select the first one. Uh, click him up, and then we start the browser here with, um, I think, a picture of Swedish meatballs, which you can eat at IKEA here in Taipei. <laughs> so let's try another example. Weather in Taiwan. And here we are, we have a couple of links with weather forecast. Let me select the first one. And we have a page from Yahoo with the weather forecast um, in, for the Taiwan weather. So again, very easy to use, just by voice. Um, say what you want, you can say anything. And it will try to search for the information and give you back a list of links with, um, that you can click on to get the actual web page and then get the information you want. Eric, historically, speech 